Good afternoon. How are we doing today? Doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Hello. Hey, hey, how are you? You see me. That's why. There we go. There you are. I knew you were there. Just see <laughs> you. Just hiding. Awesome. I know we've got more people coming and thank you guys for being on time. Let's jump into it. And you know, I'm gonna do it every time now anyway. So I, I know you got something ready. Give me something good. Give me a win from the past week, bold related or non-bold related. Doesn't matter me, to me. Me. Go, um, go. I called a um a um recruit or a another agent um that was at our kw office but has since moved on and okay. she has agreed to come to bold and bring um one of her relatives i guess it's her cousin or niece or something that is also new in the business that she's been training that's so fantastic that's really good are you are you going to use the the recruit discounts for her yes Perfect. Perfect. If you need any help with that, um, let us know. Um, you know, Trish can always help troubleshoot that. If you have any issues, it should work fine though. So we um, did, we did have a question. I was talking to Mary Hope yes. earlier about this. Um, cause we, we, they're going to, we're holding them responsible for the 200 each um, okay. so that they have some skin in the game. The only thing is if we send them the code, it says bold recruit or something. Is there any way of like re- like changing the the name of the of the the on. code is the code okay so what i would say is especially in this case i feel like this is someone that you know so i feel like this would probably work i i would just get on the phone with them and say hey you know i have to register you directly to give you this deal um and just ask them to read their credit card number to you I mean, somebody you know, I don't, you know, if this is a recruit that you don't have a great relationship with, that's probably not going to work. Um, and at the end of the day, like, I I can't, maps won't change it. Okay. Um, it's, it's the same code for all the entire country. So that's a really good point, though. And thank you for that, because I'm going to give that as feedback that it looks a little funky. Um, a lot of the market centers pay the $199. Um, I can see why you wouldn't in this case, it's somebody that's been with you before. So anyways, let me know if you want to work around it a different way, let me know, but that they won't change the code. I can tell you that. And still, yay, good job calling somebody non-KW. Give me one more win, one more great thing from the last week or so. We've just had some really good conversations with people. Um, well, and I know Val here has talked, we've talked to a lot of new agents that might, may not be ready quite for bold, but it are, we're minimally getting them the first day because we feel like why not give them this advantage of a full day of coaching? Yeah. And um, and then if if they're ready and they're really willing to commit, then then we can easily sign them up. Um, but it, that's been a really great conversations. We have People really, and I think we're going to have a bunch of other ones sign up this week. We've had just a lot of conversations um, that are maybe not quite, they're trying to figure it out with, you know, money and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, two things. In fairness, I mean, I do want to shout you out. You've also had a lot of results, not just a lot of conversations. You're at 32 full bold as of about an hour ago. So, and 46 first. So you're doing really well. And I have a question just because I want to inspect the the newer agents that bold might be, you know, might not be ready for bold. I'm uh, just checking because I don't know. Is that your assessment or they're saying that? Um, my assessment. OK, but, they, but the, Our, we had actually three of three of them sign up last night. Our wonderful okay. Val, four, sorry, four new agents last night. We had PC Four of them signed up. Val offered one hundred dollars to cover their bold out that's of pretty amazing. money so which is pretty cool that's amazing. pretty freaking cool oh, i love that anyway those are the kind of conversations we want those people who are willing to put their skin in the game and do it absolutely absolutely some of them are just physically can't because they're doing two jobs and you know all of that stuff but yeah I said, no that's fair but i told them i said that's fine if you have other jobs you can't be there physically for eight seven weeks however you can take a day off of work if you really want to do this as a job, 
and quit your other job, you can take a day off of work and be there for one full day. So I kind of put it there. No, I love that. So let me let me give you two things. Um, one, as far as a new agent not being ready, and I totally, I, I know you're coming from a great place and I just want to challenge that a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would say that nobody's not ready and here's why. A new agent doesn't have bad habits yet. <laughs> like right. think back to when you were new in the business. Now, while it might have been overwhelming, imagine being in bold as a new agent with no knowledge and no bad habits yet. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could have set somebody up for like a massive career. So just just think right. about that. And then people with a second job. So I have got in my last, I tracked it for a while and I got off track tracking it. Um, there was one year where I was really tracking it well, where I had 39 bold students quit their other job mm -hmm. after taking bold. So what I, and this is a case by case basis. So I'm right. throwing this out for all of you. If you have somebody who is, who has another job and their goal is to become full-time in real estate, because that's not everybody's goal. I know there's a lot of dual career agents where that's, they don't intend to be full-time. Like they just want to do both and it's fine. If somebody has another job and they want to be full-time, I mean, talk about the best way to do it is put yourself in an environment where you're going to be forced to do like next level activity. So I would say if you ever want me to talk to somebody like that, let me know. You know, I've had people use their vacation time, which the initial reaction is never positive. And then the question is, well, if you're making enough money to quit your job, do you need the vacation time? Well, no. Um, so just if you ever want me to talk to anybody or if you want to like role play that, let me know, because if somebody's okay. really and you know whether or not like they're serious and they're actually yeah. going to do it, like it would be worth taking a risk in order to catapult and be able to quit the job. I've seen it happen a lot. So right. love it. Awesome. So thank you both for that. And um, so here's what I want to do today. Um, what I'd like to do is I want to kind of reassess where we're at numbers wise and just set some new weekly goals. I, I just think it's easier when you have a target. And then I really want to come to you guys for anything that's working or anywhere where you're struggling. I want to make today's Zoom really interactive because I've given you guys the play, right? We, it, it's ALC, it's team meeting, and it's one-on-one -on -one conversations. And uh, we're, we have some meetings coming up still, and yet we've talked about that. We've talked about it to death, right? It really comes down to those one-on-one -on -one conversations. So I want to make sure that you guys are equipped to deal with any challenges you're having, any of that. So uh, numbers-wise, um, here's where we're at. Uh, Market Center 538, like I said, you're at 46 first step and 32 full. Um, you, your goal is still 100, which you're well on your way to, for the record. And in order to... And I want to clarify too. So I'm still giving you goals, assuming that we roll into first step at our goal. Now, in another couple of weeks, if that's not where, if we're not tracking towards that, then we will shift our focus to first step and we're going to get there one way or another. Like we, I won't give up on you and I don't think any of you are going to be given up, right? However, to roll in at goal, that would mean that for the next four weeks, because as of tomorrow, we have exactly four weeks until we launch. For the next four weeks, you would have 17 full registrations a week. So three-ish a day. And I think when you look at it that way, that's not that crazy. 17 sounds big. Three in a day is not that crazy. You did like 20-something yesterday or whatever it was. It was a big or 15, whatever. It was a big number. Um, Market Center 463, um, we have you at three first step. And your goal is 60. So that would be 15 a week. And again, that's that's to roll in at a full 60. So three a day. Market Center 183, you guys have a goal of 15. You are at two first and one full. Um, so you have 14 to go. So I would still call it four a week, even though that's a round up, because I'm a big fan of rounding up rather than rounding down. Uh, so four a week. Um, and Market Center's 440 and 737. Um, 440, I do want to give kudos. You guys, you don't have any full bulbs yet, and you added 13 first steps since yesterday since yesterday. So congrats on that. That's a big deal. Guess what? If you can do that, you can get fulls as well. I know that traditionally this group of market centers has focused more on first step and then we convert there and we can do that if we have to. 
I will tell you though, everyone's world, including yours, is easier if you just get the first of the full bold up front. Uh, so for you, it would be four a week, and then Market Center seven thirty seven. You're at two first steps, so same deal. It's going to be four a week to roll in at goal. So I'm not here to be like the goal police and scream at you about anything. I just want you to have a target because if you chunk it down, I mean. For most of you, it's for three of the market centers, literally, if you just converted one a day, you'd blow your goal out of water. And if you had three or four purposeful conversations a day, you'd get your one a day. I mean, does that sound so I'm, I'm going to Mary Hope, I'm going to ask you and your team. It doesn't have to be you. I mean, are you? Are you seeing a conversion like that? I mean, are you having to talk to 20 people to get a full bold or are you talking to less than that? No, um, Kim's having a lot of the conversations because they come to her because she's the one putting all the purple around the office. Um, what are you seeing, Kim? You know what? I'm finding those who already know they're going to register will register if it's easy enough for them right then. Mm -hmm. Um but I am getting pushback. The other thing I'm finding though is if they tell me no, I don't tend to dig more, but I've been asking them who they think should be in bold. And so it's been fun hearing those conversations and then getting them to go talk to the people they think should be in bold. So I, I love that part. And, and let me ask you, when they're telling you no, I'm imagining most people are not just looking at you and saying bold, no, like are, I'm assuming the no is coming We have a few of those. We have a few of those. Well, but... I'm sure. There's always a few of those. Like I said, look, when we talk about the green light, yellow light, red light on the roster, I know the red lights are those people, the people that are just, they have made their mind up. They don't want to talk about bold. Don't ask them about bold. Go away. That's fine. That's a small major. That's a small percentage of all of your market centers yeah. though. So like, what are the, the no's come with some sort of strings attached to them, I'm assuming. So like, what are you hearing? And that could be from any of you. I'm going to start with Kim. Like that's the purpose of today's call. I want to know what we're hearing so we can work through it. More of the seasoned agents are that they've done it so many times, they want to take a year off. Okay. So here's what I would do with that. And again, if these people aren't red, if they're not hard nosed, you or someone else can go back to some of these people. Here's a couple of great, great go to questions for people who have taken bold multiple times. Hey, I took all what, you know, we got to affirm. We're just like our agents, right? You got to affirm the objection. I totally understand why you would feel that way. Let me ask you though, the times you've gone to bold, have you made more money because you went? Because we know what their answer is. So, so do you think, you know, they're going to say, well, yeah. And you're going to say, okay, well, you could take a year off. Could you use the extra money? You know, their businesses are down right now. You know, I think, Here's what I'm seeing across the board, and you guys can either affirm it by nodding or stare at me like I'm crazy because it might just be me or it might be regional. I, I know that most of our agents' businesses are either flat or down. Some are up, I know that. The majority is flat or down. And I think a lot of our agents are pretending like nothing is happening and everything is the same. Is that relatable to anybody? Oh, okay, cool. Seeing all the nodding. So here's... I'm going to, I'm going to ask your guy, I'm going to assume it's a yes. And yet I, I'm still going to say this. I'm going to ask your guys permission to let me be blunt with you right now, because I really care about, I care about bold. I care about you. I care about Keller Williams. Like I've been with this company so freaking long. I love it. Like a person. I don't think I could ever leave. Even if Gary Keller did something awful and evil, like I don't know how to do it. Like it's like a family to me. Um, when the market changes, when money starts to go down, when income starts to go down is what I mean by money. Um, that's when agents tend to look elsewhere. And if we are not willing to have tough conversations with our agents and they go to whatever other brokerage who's willing to put it on the line and have a tough conversation, we will lose them. So if you have someone telling you that they don't want to go this time, they want to take a year off. Now, if their business is killing it and they're on fire and they're up over last year, maybe they don't need to take it and that's fine. I'm going to guess that a lot of those people don't fit into that category. And I think we have to care enough not to tell them they're wrong, but to interrogate a little bit by asking questions and help them see that maybe that's not the best way of thinking. 
because I just, I really am concerned. I mean, I will tell you my, again, we're ahead of you guys shift wise. I'm in Florida. We, we like to lead in all the wrong things. Right. And we have had two of our top producing agents leave our market center in the past month. And when I say top producing, I mean, very, very big producers. One of which some of you probably know the name, Christina Griffin ran the Relo community. Uh, was in my home market center, was a head maps coach, uh, left Keller Williams. So um, I don't want to put that on you. Like, I, I don't want you to take it that way. I, I don't want that to happen. And because of that, what I want to do is I really want to, and I know it's hard. And I just, I want you to hear how much that I, I appreciate it because the agents aren't going to tell you. <laughs> They'll tell you later. Like, we have to stand up to them and not not let them make a goofy decision. Now, if it's still a smart decision for them not to take it, that's different. And you guys know that better than I do. I just want to empower you. And Kim, it's not about you. This is for everybody because it's always a struggle. I want to empower you guys to push back a little bit and do it with tact. You guys are leaders. You're recruiters. You know how to have these conversations without upsetting them. I just... If we take the first no, I mean, think of our agents, right? If they took the first no every time, they wouldn't have any business. So just, so thank you for giving me that. And I just want you to keep that in mind. And they really will thank you later, even when they're annoyed that they sign up. Like I, I, I have reached out to leadership people years later and been like, I was really a jerk to you for that one bold. I'm so sorry. Cause if I hadn't have gone, I wouldn't have X, Y, Z. So like th they will thank you later. What else are you guys, I want to empower you guys to have a great, great next seven days. Where else are you stumbling? And I don't care what it is and I have no judgment. Is it, a, is it an objection you're receiving? Are you struggling even having the conversations? Like I ain't here to judge, I'm here to help. Is there anything else that's coming up that's stopping you from getting to your goal? I have another objection I keep hearing from newer agents that they're worried yeah. they won't have enough people to call during the mm. duration of bold. So here's what I would say to that. And you can do whatever you want. I, I really, I know I've said it a million times. And I feel like sometimes I'm so repetitive. It's just that I actually mean it. Like I'll talk to people for you too. So don't be afraid to punt people to me, even if they're a newer agent. Like I'm not just here to talk to megas. The, all these people, including yourself, we all know way more people than we realize. Here's what happens. They have 100 people in their uh, command or whatever database they're using, and they have 2,500 names in their phone. It, mm -hmm. It's so simple. So I can help people with that. Or if you have a whole batch of those, like if you can just get them like, hey, I trust me, it's going to be fine. If you want to tag them somewhere, I will do a class for them. I'll do a class on how to add to your database without meeting new people. It's so freaking simple. And here's the flip side to it as well, though. Like, so what if they don't have that many people? So what if they only have 100 or 200 people or 300, whatever, like less than the 700 that they expect because they know the contacts? So what? I don't think over communication is real or else Amazon would be out of business and they're doing okay. So what if you just went crazy deep with what you had? Like they're not, you know, what we have to continue to remind our agents and I will, of course, in the bold room is that you can't really over communicate. You can under communicate really easily. So if they call people more than once during bold, who cares? They're going to create an army of loyal people who are dialed into their success. Um, plus we've brought a lot of things back to bold. We've brought a lot of other things like we teach expireds and we teach FISBOs and we talk about door knocking. Like they can also go meet strangers. They won't die. It's okay. <laughs> so I would just encourage them. And then here's the last thing I would say. And and I, if I, I'm, I'm, if I'm nothing else than transparent, like I don't care if they make their hundred contracts every week and don't take that the wrong way. I care that they succeed. Yeah. That is not the only way to win in the bold room. I have had a, I have had agents who never came close to the hundred contacts on any of the weeks and still made more money and still created a better quality of life. And while I don't want to like lead in with, hey, don't do the work, I'm just saying like, I don't know. I know you've had some, I think from what I've been told, you've had some maybe very aggressive, bold coaches before. I'm not here to make anybody feel like garbage. I'm never going to single somebody out for not hitting their hundred contacts. I'm never going to make them feel bad. I might ask them some questions off to the side to get them to see how they could have done more or how they could do more next week. I'm not a drill sergeant. It's not how I roll. 
So don't be afraid to, um, don't be afraid to just encourage them to go. It's that is not a reason for them not to go. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're killing it. What else we got? What I'll, from you or anybody okay. else on here? Oh, Tony, did you say, did you have one? Sure. Um, I mean, one thing I've done with some of the new agents that have, that are not dual career and that would the, you know, I have two jobs, I can't do it, but is, you know, that I don't want to do bold. So I'll ask them. So tell me what you understand about bold. Mm -hmm. mm, great question. And, and it gets them thinking because the, honestly, the answer is they don't understand anything about it. They just yeah. see seven, nine, nine. That's all they see. And they may not want to say that. So, uh, and getting, getting them to talk about that, I think is, is, is a really good way to, to open them up. And, and if they're still pushing back, it's like, Hey, if you come to first step at the minimum, come see what it's all about. And I'll share with my, yeah. this is, I did the math. This is my sixth, six bold couple online and, and, and four in person. And it, it makes, it does make a difference. It, and, and, and so it's, but getting them to understand that they're, it's not just, uh, I think people sometimes feel like it's uh, a KW money making thing. Yeah. And it's not. It is a money making thing, though. For them. <laughs> it's well, a money it making thing. I mean, it's not them. a money making thing for <laughs> Keller Williams. Yes. <laughs> you know no, where I'm going. I mean, you said it today. Like, like it's, it's a, you guys, you lose. Now, if yeah. you have a great bold and you get enough people in the room at the end of it, you actually come out ahead because of all the production. But I mean, like, in the moment of it yeah you totally lose it's not so i appreciate that i think that's wonderful and that whole what do you understand about bold i think that's great and i know that i keep pushing this focus on full focus on full and i mean it it does not translate to don't take first step if you can't get them there and they're like well i'll do the first one just get them signed up and you know what some people are going to change before the i mean we'll talk about this in greater detail when we get closer and yet I'm going to give whoever's work and registration on first step, I'm going to give them one simple question at hello that I guarantee will get us at least five registrations on the spot. Like there are people that come in and they're ready to sign up. They've already thought about it and made the decision. So yeah, when in doubt, get them to first step. To me, it's such an easy sell, which is why I like to leave it as a lead move till the end, because it's yeah. so easy to, you give them free lunch and free learning. They're going to show up. It's all good. So what else do we have? What other, where else can I help you? What other objections? Or is there anything in particular that's really working for somebody and, and they want to speak up? It's not bragging, it's helping. So we're, um, another objection I've had is I've done bold and it's not for me. That's not my, that's not my style. I love it. So what about it is not for you is what I would ask. And you may have already, like, that would be my yeah, question. More like what the about hoorah, it is not for the you? challenges, the tons of, I mean, this person makes a hundred contacts a week. Um, okay. And I, so they're not at the top of their production though. Um, so, that part. And, you know, and I think, I think personalities of coaches and things like that. And, you know, I did say, you know, we do have a different coach and it's, you know, every time and you're a different person this time and they did come last time and they're a quiet person. They feel uncomfortable in the, you know, at the table sharing things and their emotions or whatever. Right. And journaling. And so those are the kind of. I'm saying all. Yeah. Stuff that so no. So same deal. So I would look if there there's two directions to go with that. It's especially if it's based off past experience, it's either like, hey, why don't you just come to first step? It's free. If you hate it, leave it lunch. I mean, like, seriously, like what, what do we have to lose? Right. Or mm -hmm. again, if anybody's open to it, like pick me as many people as you want me to talk to. Okay. Like, hey, would you be open to talking to the coach? And here is my promise to you. Like I, I, I will, I will not push anybody. I'm yeah. not pushy. I'd probably make more money if I was like, I, I'm not pushy. I will ask them questions. I will give them information. I will help guide them to whatever their best decision is. I will not push them. So if you send me somebody, my promise to you is I will do everything I can to get them registered and I will not send them back to you upset that we spoke. Perfect. And that goes for all of you. I, I will not, I can't, yeah. I will not do that. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Any other challenges or wins that are happening right now?
Okay, so it, I, I'm going to put you on the spot, Mary Hope. Like you, you guys are doing great in numbers. Is there other than just doing what I've asked you to do? Because you did amazing. So those of you that still have team meetings coming up, please do it the way we talked about because it does work. Um, other than that, though, is there anything in particular that you've done or said that you feel like is contributing? And Mary Hope and team. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we do have purple all over everywhere. So there's, it's hard for them not to. You saw, um, you saw the crazy. It is everywhere. Man the scary mannequins. That, those yeah, creepy mannequins, mannequins around yep. our office all the time, not just during bold. I'll just say that. And they've scared yep. a few people in this office. Um, thanks to Kim. Um, so we've, it's a lot of them have no clue what bold is, but the conversations are being had because there's so much bold um, purple. Um, I think I think besides that, I think we're just bringing it up. It's a little easier. We've been doing it for 11 years. So people know what they're getting into. Now we're just pushing that they're going to commit a little earlier. Um, you awesome. know, we usually, like I said, we focus on just getting them the first step. And they, I mean, we have 80 people usually there. So it's not as if they're not signing up. Um, so I think we're just right. getting them a little earlier, which I'm hoping we'll get their production started a little earlier. Um, well, and it, here's my experience. Yeah. Here's my experience. The earlier they, that's another reason that we do it, that I like to do it this way. The minute they swipe that credit card, they start to mentally commit. They know what's coming. And even the people who haven't taken it at least have a general idea of what's coming. So people start to show up differently the minute they have committed to taking the class. That's a big reason to have them do it early rather than do it later. Mm -hmm. um, so keep that in mind. And so, and I love all that. So guys, if your market center doesn't look like the purple people eater threw up on it, please just go spend 20 or 30 bucks at a dollar store. It's so simple. Have your Dofi do it, have somebody do it, put stuff everywhere. It does create the conversations, which takes a lot of the heavy lifting off of you guys. Um, and then the last thing I want to share before I let you go is just a reminder, like, if you are struggling with this, please reach out to me. I am not the same way I won't be a jerk to your agents, I won't be a jerk to you. I never will be. I'm here to help you guys. I want you all to roll into that room at your goal. I want you to prove to yourself that you can do it. I want you to feel it over the month during and after bold in your bonuses. Like, I want this to be a big win for you guys. And I know that you have a lot to do. I also know it's kind of a rough time right now. Um, let's make this something awesome. Let me be your partner. Okay. So reach out anytime. I got your back. I want to help run the meetings. A lot of you still have your meetings coming up. Please run them the way that we discussed on that call. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please just reach out to me. And it's so simple. And I'll tell you what to do. And otherwise have the best week. Don't be afraid to ask questions of your agents. Poke at them, be their coach, be their mentor, help them see why this might help them. All right. Great. I appreciate you guys have the best day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.